That was funny. Oh, you bitch. Damn. Rambo spraying. She act like she just fucking hit something. Alright, then. Oh, shit. I'm hallucinating. some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Oh, shit. Can we go back in there and look at what the fuck this guy's doing? Hell yeah, I want to go in there. <laughs> huh. Damn. That is fucking disturbing. <laughs> Alright. Can we go in here? Hell yeah, we can. What's in here? Oh, so combos. Hell yeah. I'm taking those too. Damn. Oh, we know what this calls for. Anything we need in her cell? Nope. Okay, so <laughs> enough looking at his dead ass. We can go. And I have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, we don't need to go in here. I think we can go to level B2. Come on, man. Get the fucking door open. Okay, so where the fuck am I going? Because I like completely fucking forgot. Oh shit. Fucking doors. Alright. I know there's some type of trap in these rooms. I'm not for sure which one it was. But I know there are traps around here. Okay, so we got C4. Uh, shit. I think the first door is like right over here somewhere. Come on, man. Where is it? Uh, right there. It's that one. So we're just gonna take out the C4. As soon as I fucking find it. No, not that. Okay. How the fuck do I do this? Set and detonate. I want to look like a badass doing that set. <laughs> Punching the air and shit that happens. Okay. So I know there's some more shit going on. Okay, so there's a second one. As soon as I fucking find it. Okay, there we go. Come on, man. Okay. Now, where is the second one? Okay. So there's two of them over here. I'm gonna go do this one first. Because I know it's already know it's on the other side. There's like two fucking turrets that's gonna be dicks about it. But there's more C4 ammo, so I'm gonna need that. Okay, so I don't need that. But well, I'm still gonna go down there and get the other one, though. Can I get through these doors? I wonder if I can. Nope. Alright, let's go. Alright, so... <sighs> Gotta do this one. Blow it right the fuck up. And get on in. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! 
<laughs> it's holding my shit together. Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. <laughs> He's just stroking the shaft. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Hell oh yeah. I'm gonna show you why they call me Manslave, bitch! Where the fuck is it? Shit! Where the fuck is my dumb... Wait a minute, dog. Gotta get my gun out. Alright. Fuck, you asshole! Where you at, dog? Where are you running to? I love the reload. Where you at, dog? Where you at? Oh shit, he's reloading. Where the fuck is he at, reload? Alright. Alive. Let's go. <laughs> You're alive. Where are you at, dog? I understand the bullet shoes. I make them go where I want it. I have no idea where the fuck this guy is. But I'm gonna keep running around so I find him. Asshole! Good running, dog! This is literally cat and mouse. You better hurry up! The old man's not gonna last too long. Don't you want to settle this? Now, well, if I run out of ammo, I'm fucked. You like smell a lot of things, that's questioning. Hell yeah, got that bullet. Alright, where is this asshole at? Because I want to fuck him. Where are you going, dog? I'm going to fuck you up. Where are you going? Oh shit. Let me put up my health. Alright. You ass. Come here, dog. I just want to talk. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I gotta get you this way. Come on, dog. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk. Fucking ass. Come here. Come here. I don't have no fucking ammo now. Shit. Okay. Looks like we're going hand to hand, bitch. Where you at? Quit running, so I can fuck you up. Oh, yeah, they gave me the hookup. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Come on, dog, quit running around. I just wanna fuck you. Oh, my God. Come on, man. This can go down either way. Shit, man, if you don't stop running, come on, man. Come on. Come on, I don't want to do this all day. Come on, we can literally do this all day. I ain't got shit better to do. Where the fuck are- Come on, man. Come on. Come on, quit being a bitch. No bitches around here. Where you at? Where you at? Come on, man. I just want to talk. Fuck, man, come on. Come on. If you don't fucking stop running, you ass. There we go. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. Shit. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? Damn, so is your hand. Stealth K. 
camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. No pride. No penis. <laughs> talk who are you I'm not one of them the DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code what about yours oh I get it Jim sent you you're, you're from the Pentagon answer my question what about your code there's no time I talked what now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time it's not like I didn't fight I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. <laughs> That's what he said. Not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. We all know what's happened. <laughs> looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha! Huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be... No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. Nope. No, not <laughs> anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. The fuck? <laughs> the way he said it, though. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The 3x3 
threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What are you What's calling grumpy old An little shit? Disc. It's all here. <laughs> the main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. Yo, it ass is already finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. Gave you diarrhea. So they actually went in. Talking about. They, they are just using you for. Damn. He died from taking a shit too. He died shitting himself. Damn. Didn't know it was possible, but it is. What the hell? Or fucking conversations. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but 
Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Your ass has been lying this whole time. So fuck off. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Okay. Got a higher bit of health. Alright, so I'm probably going to stop right here and uh, continue this on probably tomorrow, whenever I get the chance. But uh, it was nice playing this game, it's real fun as shit. And uh, let me contact Mei Ling. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. But let me contact Mei Ling and save so we don't have to go through this issue again. Uh. Snake, you can't <clears throat> use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming. Yeah, I want to save. Okay. Memory card one. Press that. You shape that. You shape. Okay, there we go. There we go. Be careful, Snake. Ow, we are done with this. I will see you guys whenever I decide to record once again. This was pretty fun. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.